All right, today I'm gonna to show you my lightweight, cheap field HF comm setup. The Microsoft Surface Go. This is a true SDX 5 watt QRP HF radio. Covers 80, 60, 40, 30, and 20 meter bands. This is a 65 watt PD style USB C charger that will connect to the tablet with this adapter. This is a 6800 milliamp hour lithium polymer battery with the same style connector that's put onto the charger for the tablet. This is an adapter to go from the other side of the battery to Anderson power pole, which I use for everything typically. And then that connects to the true SDX HF radio. This is my chalk line style antenna. So I've replaced the rope with copper wire and I just unwind it to whatever band I need to use it on. I have knots tied where it's resonant so I can feel it if I can't see if it's dark or something. This is a two amp charger to go from my solar panel to the lithium battery. And this will charge my Baofeng radio from the USB-A port on this charger. And then this is an extension to go from the solar panel. So if I need to have the panel out where it's light, I can go ahead and run it out a few feet. This is my QRP guys auto transformer for an NFED half wave antenna. Rope. This is a USB C splitter. Acts like a hub, but only for two of the cables at a time. So this goes directly into the Microsoft Surface tablet. This goes directly into the True SDX QRP rig for cat control, changing the frequency. And then this goes into the Digi rig, which handles the audio for digital modes. I like to set up my antenna first, then I just bring the radio gear to wherever I need to. Uh, the antenna is the most difficult one to relocate so if I do that first then I don't have to worry about that so if I have a small enough sturdy branch I'll just connect these hooks around it otherwise I'll use rope and then release the chalk line handle and then as I walk away I feel the wire for my knots so my first one is actually a solder joint and then I have 20 meter and then 40 meter and then 80 meter marked out. All right, I've got my antenna hung up. You can see I just use one of these plastic hooks. So that way if my rope gets wet, it doesn't conduct to the antenna and change the resonance. Now I have a BNC cable, RG174. And on the radio side, I have just a simple choke uh, because on this NFED half wave, the shielding is part of the antenna, so I don't put anything on the antenna side. Got everything set up. You can see this USB C splitter kind of makes everything nice and clean, so I only have one wire from the computer 
and then one wire to the radio, one wire to the digi rig, and then the audio cables, power and antenna. So right now you can see cat control is working. If I switch to 7.078 .07 on the computer, the radio will also switch, which is pretty handy, especially if you're doing wind link. So one way I like to set the time instead of having to use the internet or a GPS since I don't have enough USB-C ports to run the GPS at the same time is I will go to an FT8 frequency and then set the time drift based on when their transmissions end. So if you see down here, set time drift to now TX end. When I click that, after they transmit, it already sets the time drift pretty close, even though I can't decode. You can watch on the waterfall. So now I'll go back to JS8, send out a heartbeat, you can see the small T transmits working. I also set my display to show what the time delta is right in the incoming messages window. So that helps also. So um, negative 1900 milliseconds from the last guy I decoded, so I'll go positive 1900. Try again. All right, now we're within 100 milliseconds of the two stations that just heard me. All right, I'm connecting to W1AW. Unlikely that I have any mail. I don't use it a whole lot, but we will see. I paid for the licensed version of Vera also, so it's uh, pretty fast whenever I do have mail. I've seen well over 3,000, I think maybe even 4,000 bits per second. All right, so no mail, but did successfully connect. So this little radio is handy. Works for basically everything. A um, little bit bad on the audio to receive, but you can use headphones to overcome that. And you can also use a separate microphone same cables or the same jacks that the DigiRig mobile is connected to. Taking this antenna back down is as easy as just disconnecting the coax, the transformer, the rope, and then winding it back into itself. So it's pretty convenient, pretty quick.